is about my love-hate relationship with Snafu. So I was so excited because I got it running on my computer. Well, I got it installed in Snap, but then for the life of me, cannot get to the last stage of the unwrapping to work. So I've used a different approach. It's busy running in the background, but I've got to go. <laughs> and I know if I don't record this now, I'm going to come home and have forgotten everything. So let's start up Snap again. So where we were at the end of the... The last uh, video, from what I can remember, we had created um, our filtered Goldstein phase filtered um, interferogram, interferogram. And so the next step here is phase unwrapping. So from what I understand with phase unwrapping, and you can see a graph here, is it's literally taking the phase from being, it says, equivalent to an integer number of two pi phase cycles and turning it into uh, meters or like relating it to topography. Um, and so there's three steps that we have to do here. Export's not so serious. Unwrapping is not so serious as long as you've got Snafu installed on your computer. Import for the life of me couldn't get this tutorial to work, but praying against all hope that <laughs> it's working by the command prompt, which I know many people do not like and are quite intimidated by, but it wasn't that bad. So let's get this down so that I don't forget. Okay, so we go here. So I've had to restart things multiple times because things weren't working and who knows what. So let's go back. I'm going to open. I've been trying to save projects and save sessions, but with the unwrapping, I feel stuff got overwritten. So I was even keeping backups of the DMI files because I feel like I kept on losing those as well when I was unwrapping. So it was a bit traumatic. So I'm going into my GIS folder where I've been keeping everything. And you can see I actually backed up all these DIM files in this DIM folder and then pasted them back when half of them disappeared. So I'm going to load in, but you shouldn't have that problem ideally if you follow the steps I'm going to say here. So I'm going to load back in the one which was literally the last thing we did was the interferogram. And it just takes a few seconds to load. And it's up here, and you can just double check it's fine. So, also as a disclaimer, with earlier problems, I don't know what the heck happened, but when I, I had to reprocess my data because I seemed to have written over stuff when I was doing the unwrapping. And now I've got these huge bands in my data, but I think I was just rushing through wanting to get the unwrapping done. So, these bands are not normal, something's wrong with my data. I will go back and fix them. So, this is the wrapped data. And so our first step now is to go radar. If somebody knows why I have those bands, please put it in the comments. Click on unwrapping, and now we're going to export. So Snafu is a plugin, so you can't use the date in here. You've got to export it, take it to Snafu, and then import it back in. Um, so let's click on export. Okay, and I've only got one in my list here, one DIM, but you're literally going to use the interferogram. And then you're going to choose export. And I think I was a bit confused here as well because the tutorials talk about putting this in the temp folder on your C drive. But I don't think it's so serious. Um, you could put it in your working folder. So I can put it in my working folder. Just make it something that you can understand. So I'm going back into the folder where I'm working and I'm going to create a new folder. So let's click... So I'm going to click on new folder, but I want to click here first and just copy the last, last um, folder name that we used. So I'm going to use it, you can see there, but I'm deleting the dot data and I'm adding unwrapped to the end so I can easily see it. And I'm clicking enter. And so this is an empty folder that I want to use. So I'm going back into Snap and I'm navigating to that folder, which was on my C drive, GIS. And very unfortunately, we do have to scroll to the right, which gets a bit frustrating. You can actually just expand this window. And here's my unwrapped folder. So I'm clicking open. It doesn't always, it doesn't always let you add the target folder. So actually what I'm going to do here is go back to the folder, copy the name of my of where it is. I think you can actually, sorry, you can go right click and go. Hmm, I thought you could. Maybe if you go up here, sorry. I'm going into this folder where I'm going to put stuff. I'm in a, a normal Windows folder here. I'm right-clicking on the name here. I'm going to copy address. Because then what I can just do here is go paste, and that's put 
you'll see at the beginning it's added the complete location so reminder what i did i went back to folders i went to my working folder i created this new folder where i'm going to put the unwrapped stuff i went into it up at the top in that like the address bar i right clicked on the copy address went back into snap and i pasted it here and i left all the other stuff normal and i clicked run so let's see if it works I feel like there was an error there, but I didn't see what it was. I'm kind of just trying to confirm that what I did earlier worked. And thankfully it didn't take too long. Let's see if it's put some stuff in here. Okay, so I probably... Okay, so this is unwrapped. I don't know if it's called the right thing. But anyway, I'm not sure why it's created another subdirectory, maybe. Did it add it here? I don't think so. I don't feel like I did it earlier, but anyway. It's not so serious. Okay, so what you'll see in this new folder is that you've got coherence, phase, an image file, and an HDR file, which I've heard is a header file. And in the unwrapping, we've got this HDR file. And was, this was our export. And so now tools, if we go back to tools, uh, sorry, radar, interferometric, unwrapping. Now we go to the first one, which was snafu unwrapping. And I feel so confused now. But anyway, um, again, I'm just going to use, I've only got one file here, and this is the interferometric uh, file that we've got, or maybe you've created a subset. And then processing parameters, I'm going to choose that folder that I've just been working in. So, uh, it was under GIS, and remember it was called unwrapped, and we're going in here. Yeah, we're going select and we're going run. Okay, before executing, please correct the errors. Working path does not exist. So I feel like this is where I started to run into errors and issues. So like it's not picking up the folder. So oh, like this, I think is where I'm struggling. So this was when I took it offline. Well, out of snap and found quite a nice tutorial on youtube and so i'm going now into this folder and so let's go back so you know exactly where we are this is this unwrapped folder that i've created and it's created the subdirectory i'm actually going to cut this put it here and not have to waste time going through this extra subdirectory and clicking delete okay and so now effectively from what i understand what we are missing is an image file of this unwrapped and we can run this all through the command prompt. So running the unwrapping, and then I'm not, I haven't got to the phase yet, the point yet of bringing it back into um, Snap. Oh, wow, you can see it's still going. Okay, and so what I did at this point was you should, if you've tried to install, install Snafu in Snap, you should have this folder, ideally in your working directory, check elsewhere, and for me, under bin is where my exe file is. And so what I did was I took everything here, the snafuxe and this dll file, I copied them. I went over here and I went into my unwrapped folder and I pasted them here. Because literally we want these files together with snafu so we can run it all together. The important thing they said in the video was that if you go to this config file, um, you can see here, snafu config, it's not, this configuration file has been generated and it links to your file in this in this folder. So please don't randomly copy a, the snafu configuration file from somewhere else. This here, um, or you can edit it yourself, I suppose, but this is specifically our file that we are working with here. The one thing the video did say is if you go down here, this log file will cause an error. And so you need to comment it out. So 
And all that means is just add a hashtag before it. And before you close, highlight um, this uh, row here and click copy. And then we close it. And we click save. So we saved our comment and out log file. That hashtag just means the program will run and it won't try and do anything with that line because they just thinks it's a comment line. Okay, and now that we've done all of that, you're going to open a command window. And if you've never done it before, please don't stress how you do that. You go here to the search window and you type command and you should, that should come up. Or I think you can find it somewhere here. I wouldn't actually know <laughs> where to find it. Possibly a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a search window here and you can just go there. So command prompt opens up. And this is telling me I'm currently in the C directory user folder that's user. And so literally if I went to that on my computer, I'm here on my C drive, I'm under user, and I'm under bits user. And I don't want to be here because I want to be in the C, um, C drive in the GIS folder. And so you can see I want to be C drive GIS. Now how do I get there? I'm just going to say type CD. So this is a Windows machine I'm working on. It will be different to your, to your Mac and Linux. Space dot dot what that does when i click enter you can see i've lost this folder i've gone into the main folder here users and i can do it again to go there and so i'm now in the c directory and now if i type dir sorry it's going to show me all the folders that are in on the c drive and i want to go into gis i type in cd gis click enter and you can see it's brought me into that so you're going to have to use some combination of this to navigate to where the heck you have saved stuff. To be honest, the easiest thing to do is take it wherever it is and move it onto the C drive. Then you can just do what I've done. You can even call it GIS if you want. And so now I'm going to do DIR again. Oof, my word. Maybe don't do DIR. Um, the main thing is that we want to get into this unwrapped folder. And I suppose... So you could... There's multiple ways you can do that. I'm coming here, I'm copying it. I'm going back to my command prompt and I'm going CD, giving the name of that folder and you can see it's taken me into it. And how do I know that I'm in it? If I type in, sorry, DIR and click enter, you can see these are the files we've just been looking at. Um, that's nothing fancy. Another way, I'm just gonna get out of here. Uh, you can get into it. You can go CD space and then just put in the first letter of what you of what the folder is and push the tab button on your computer. But you can see this is one of the earlier, this is this earlier folder. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to say underscore. And you can see each time it adds a little bit more underscore stack underscore ESD. So this is really the slowest way to do it. IFG and where were, weren't we unwrapped now? Oh, dev. What are we on now? Data and underscore. <laughs> we have done a lot of things today. There we are, unwrap. So you can go CD and go in there, and DRR will show you here on the right. And so now we want to run Snap3. And so, how we do that, if we go back into our unwrap folder and we open up that configuration file again, and you copy. That first line here, Snap3. This is actually a command that is going to run to um, to get Snap3 running and get all the files. And I'm going to type it in there. Um, I don't know if I can run it while I'm running the other thing. Let's at least click enter and see. I don't get an error. Um, okay, and it seems to have started. Run to inputs from start. How over that too small? It may be a bad result. Okay, no rush of business this morning. Um, and so it's going to run, but I'm going to close mine because it's running somewhere else. And so that is the thing. So in general, the tutorial wanted us to go radar, interferometric, wrapping, and then do export, unwrapping, import. I couldn't get past export. I just seemed to get so many errors. So then I moved the unwrapping part um, to the command prompt uh, using the Snapu EXE that was already on my computer and using a configure file that I've got them generated from this export and then carrying out the unwrapping. But I mean, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like. So the next video will be the importing back, hopefully, into Snap.